All right, guys, after half an hour of looking into stuff, we have determined what happened last round where we lost our friend in the awesome very quickly, but also got destroyed in our own mech. It turns out that a long tom artillery, for some reason, hits you in the front, but does full damage to the back. Um, there were some suggestions uh, to add more back armor, um, at which point I argued, how much back armor do you suppose we add to defend against 30 damage shots? coming in at uh, every 8 seconds to your back. How much back armor would you like to add? The answer is you just, just it doesn't matter. Like if you add that much back armor, you just <laughs> get destroyed from the front because you have like 20. <laughs> so uh, long story short, I think that uh, Long Tom might be a game-breaking weapon system in the hands of the AI. That's going to come at you with an aimbot, right? And it hits you in the front, you take full damage to the back. If it was 30 damage spread across your mech, it would be absolutely fine. But what we saw is that it hit in the front and did 30 damage AoE to the back, which destroys, I don't know, heavies and, and assault mechs with like two to three shots, which is uh, utterly stupid in my opinion. But um, let's join the stupidity. I've just outfitted this Annihilator with two long toms and uh, we're going to try it out because we can. So uh, let's go to a place with a Battlefield contract, for example, right here. Ronel. Let's try it out. Joy Dope saying in chat, TTP proving a point in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> yeah, you guys know what's up. Um, let's take our contract. Assassination against Devian. Nah. Battlefield mission. Max salvage once again. Alright. That's with my pilots. Are we out of, out of thingy? Where's my first commander? There's the commander. Um, doesn't really matter who's piloting what, right? Just the awesome. Impaired for forty days. <laughs> Mission starts in one twenty-two days. Okay, there are mechs. I'm even gonna save the game here, you know, why the hell not? We're down the deep end already. Um, this pilot, no, do we have anything? Okay, missile, missile crit, missile critic. Decreased missile proficiency capacity by one. <laughs> he doesn't like missiles, I like that. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna have two long toms on the Annihilator and four medium lasers. I don't know how much ammo I will have or anything. Um, you cannot run long tom with XL, by the way. It has to be standard engine. We're going to be very slow, but I don't care. I just want to see what happens here. You wouldn't be able to run this without Endo, by the way. So this is an Endo build. The Endo we ripped from that previous Atlas that had the long tom. And um, it's going to get stupid. I think it's going to get very stupid here in a couple of seconds. Because if the long tom just oh, happens to line. hit you in the front, Sensors spread the damage, but then do 30 damage to your back, and this weapon system is utterly broken and needs to be removed from this mod, it's uh, yet another Mech Labs weapons, the mod that is uh, the offender here. Um, so, here are our lasers, and here is long tom and long tom artillery. Well, let's see what happens. One is Long Tom, the other one is Long Tom Artillery. That might also be a difference in between. Long Tom Artillery has a range of 6,000. <laughs> Kick Tubble use Intensify. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Oh, hunchback and what's that? A general. Okay. Let's shoot the Hunchback with double Long Tom and see what happens. It's just gone. It's just gone! <laughs> okay, double long tom might not be feasible, as you can see the cooling is really really bad, but... Um, we need to let our mechs, uh, our friends here, shoot the enemy. Better gyro is nice though. Balanced weapon heat capped? 
Yeah, the heat capping. Well, the thing is, guys, we're shooting two of them at the same time, right? The Atlas only had one. But I'm trying to prove a point here. There's a repair bay, by the way. I'm trying to prove a point by Alpha striking something and utterly destroying it. Like a Shadowhawk, for example. What do we have here? This is a slight mech. So let's go for the medium mech. As soon as we see him. There he is. Look at the health on his components. You just have to hit behind the mech or just hit him to the front. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> even one of these weapon systems is super dangerous. Let's, let's use long term against the general right here. One sec. Zoom a little bit more. Look! He's exploding! His armor's cooking off! Enemy mech destroyed. Yeah, look at the internals. Same thing. CT and side torsos completely red. From behind. Even though I shoot, shot in his front. Let's try the same with this commando right here. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, commander. More hostiles inbound. Instant dead. 30 damage to the back. Target acquired. This is stupid, guys. This is just stupid. One shot, he's almost dead. That's normal long term. That was fine. Maybe it's just the artillery that's messed up. Yeah, it's the long term artillery that's messed up. It applies the damage to the back apparently as well to the as to the front. Gonna shoot this again. One sec. Hit to the front. Instantly destroyed. Because of back damage. That's the problem. That is the problem. What happens if you double lands and each mech has one long term? Um, you might as well just uninstall the game because the game is becoming insanely boring. Moving into file formation, Commander. The what end game is to have all long terms? Yeah, basically. Eliminated. New target. There we go, Charger. Right? Long term artillery to the front. Look at it, look at the mech. Look at the internals from behind. Right? Here comes the second shot. He's dead. Normal long tom. That Cyclops. We'll probably just hit the, uh, hit the front, right? As soon as we have the ability to change again. Yeah, yeah, see? Normal long tom is fine. The normal long tom is fine. It's the artillery that's the, purple, the, the culprit here. The long term artillery is the is the culprit. And the problem is exactly what Johnny Tudope is saying. The AI has long term as well if you use that mod. Here, two heavies coming in. Watch this. Yellow internals. Red internals from behind. From one shot. Long term artillery. To the front. Second shot. Mech almost dead. This, this weapon system should not be in the game. It's gonna be, it's probably gonna be reserved a lot to like super heavy mechs and whatnot, but I mean. That was a normal long top shot, by the way. Look, you see how the mech flew? <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe, maybe the long term is a super rare weapon, especially long term artillery. It could be a super rare weapon that only shows up like every, every year or so. In which case it would be fine, but um, maybe we were, we were just unlucky to find a long term in our first mission and completely get uh, destroyed by it. Long term artillery. Like once again, here's a normal long term shot. Additional contact 
Uh, and that's the long term artillery. I'm gonna save that shot. Like, one long term artillery seems to be super powerful. Yeah, here comes the drop. It's right, right on our nose. Perfect. Let's see what we can do here with one shot. <laughs> what do they drop? Okay, nice, nice. Here's an Atlas. Perfect. Shot to the front. This time did not hit him from the back. Look at the back damage. That's three shots for an Atlas. Once again, this Wolverine is pretty fresh still. Long term artillery to the front. Once, watch this. Hang on. Uh, let's wait for him to come into the clear. Hit him in the front. Both side torsos red and orange. I mean, the long term balances itself for the player a little bit because it's super heavy. The only reason why we have two of them is because we have Endo Steel and this Annihilator. But the power is just insane. It's, it's just insane. By the way, do we have no friendly fire on? Yeah, no friendly fire is on. Okay, Atlas once again from the front. Long term shot. This is a stock Atlas. It has 20 to 30 armor on the back, right? Second shot. All red. Everywhere. If it, only, it wasn't so toasty. Here comes the third shot. Ah, he survived three. But he's basically toast, right? Yeah, he's basically toast. Let's see what happens if I shoot to, to the front of the mech, just right here. It's gonna overheat me, unfortunately. It's going to over override, maybe. You see how much damage that did? Just shooting next to him? It just completely dismembered the mech. Long term artillery is OP. Super OP. Target mech eliminated. Tango eliminated. Range 6000. Okay, so, um, whoever just said in chat TTP is going to prove a point, you know me very well. Point proven, I guess. So normal long term seems to be super powerful, but somewhat better balanced than the artillery. We'll have to check whether they have the like, same or similar like values for, for back damage. But I think they are both very similar. In any case, I don't want to see this in the hands of the AI. Yes, we've, we've seen it. It just destroys mechs so quickly. There's nothing you can do. It's just kind of frustrating. Uh, let's see. Anything good here? It's a 360 engine, but it's destroyed, unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately, if you shoot targets with long term, <laughs> as, as balancing, I guess. I mean, look how these mechs look like. The Cyclops, I didn't kill. That's why it is a little bit more intact. That Atlas, side torso is gone. It's a wonder the engine actually survived. The Charger, side torso is basically gone, CT gone. That Cyclops is a cockpit and a leg. Cataphract, same thing like this. There's a there's a, a clear image of the kills that we got with the long-term artillery, right? It's always like everything's destroyed, basically. That's an SRM Cyclops, we can grab that. And on top of that, we can grab a cataphract. All right. Damage dealt zero. <laughs> yep, we did zero damage, guys. We did zero damage. You saw it here first. <laughs> All right. Let's check the let's check the weapons again. So long term normal has twenty AOE. No, it's the same thing. Twenty AOE damage in thirty meter radius. Long term artillery. 
30 AoE damage in 30 meter radius. So the AoE damage is higher. Um, this is a tier 4, this is a uh, tier 2. So this does 50% more damage, actually. 17 heat, 19 heat, so this is also running cooler, but that makes sense. I mean, it's a higher tier weapon. But um, yeah, it's, it's just OP as fudge. If you want to balance this mech a little bit more, I mean, this weighs 30 tons, right? And the long tom normal weighs 20 tons. But I think with two normal long toms, it would probably fi fare better. So, let's go ahead and get two normal long toms in here and see what happens. Now we've got 10 tons to work with. I need more. I need more ammo. <laughs> I need more long-term ammo. Let's go to Galatia and see if we can find some ammo. Salvage isn't the aim, a long tom's the game, says but the spud. Oh yeah. Okay, repair, repair, repair. And then let's see if we can find some more ammo for a long tom. No long tom ammo? Oh. Uh, what is sniper ammo? Hang on. Sniper artillery, of course. Uh, yeah, we need to find long-term ammo. I'm gonna just travel a little bit to see if we find more long-term ammo. Probably don't need that much more, though. Okay, there we go. Long-term ammo. That should help. Now. No, no, cancel. Let's work on this mech a little bit. Double long-toms. Um, now, heat was a problem, right? Heat was definitely a problem. This is going to be harder than before. So, double heat sinks should be the game of the game here, right? Oh, structure is a problem now. Actually, do I even need endo steel? I don't think I need endo steel right now anymore. We're going risky here with arm double heat sinks in the arms, but it can't be helped, I guess. Um, long term ammo gives us one more ton, which we will add another laser with. Although, I mean, honestly speaking, the long toms are going to be our weapons, right? This is, the, this is the weapon system of choice that we use. Uh, what is not what is not fit? Eh? Hello? Why does this laser not fit? Oh, it only has one laser hard point in the arm. Okay, that makes sense. So three medium lasers, which means... Uh, could bring a heat bank. That could help, actually. Leave your have saying a uh, uh, shaving of beards aids a couple of kph to the max. No, no. You add kph to your max by brushing the beard to make it more aerodynamic. See? 5 kph added. Easy peasy. Alright. Double long toms this time. A little bit hotter, but we also have two more, no, four more double heat sinks to help cool this thing down and a heat bank. So we can shoot this probably twice, full full salvo. Also repair. 45 days. Next mission, somebody's gonna get destroyed. Any good in the cantina. Direct order kill in tier 2. And a treasure hunter. Okay. Let's see. Targeted kill against Liao. 
Garrison contract. Yes, Garrison is good. I like Garrison. Just nuke everything from orbit. Just just pull like a, a clanner. Just nuke everything from orbit. Currently reading the, up the the clan invasion novels. That's what they did sometimes. Just just glassify a whole map, uh, a whole planet. Oh, what's that? That's a raid. And for that raid, we can get the infantry laser rifle cache. So we will we will be raiding on this one. Let's get a little bit of damage coverage. All right. Someone will die. Why are my pilots not selected? Why do I always have to select pilots? Um, that might be one of the one of the things from the pilot mod, but that's kind of annoying if you always have to select your pilots. I think it cycles the pilots out automatically when they're when they're uh, fatigued. Uh, what's going on with that mech? There's a PPC missing. It says the PPC is missing. Why is that PPC missing? What? How? Why? I'm running out of PPCs for that mech. Alright, 20 days. Let's go! If they added RO4 with nukes, good lord, yeah. We have been contacted <sighs> to destroy a number of tactical objectives in enemy territory. Beware. I've got 40 Before rounds, so 20 rounds double long term. So try not to stick around and tangle with the defenders for too long. Or you'll never hear the end of it from Fard. I will try. Double long tom, guys. It's happening. Intel puts one of our targeted acquisitions somewhere in this oh, location. Oh, right, there should be some loot. Okay. Chance, yeah, we need to grab that as well. Um, what's my speed? 40. Okay, that's not good. Oh. We'll begin the recovery procedure. That will be a little bit slow, but you know what? That's okay. We're taking it slow. This is this is the day. This is this is the day that shall be known as the long tomining. Package acquired. A double heat sink. Hey, nice. Okay, let's see. Is there anything over there that we need to kill? Nope. Oh, you should destroy targets at, at locations. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fine. It's a good thing friendly fire is off. Oh, hello. New target charger. Feels that long term artillery was a lot better. I just gave all my guys a kill shot order on this guy. Is that? Uh, go for the Centurion. I think, generally speaking, you don't want more than one long term. Um, everybody kill this thing, please. Didn't I just hear missiles fly? Affirmative. Engaging. I think I think he's trying to shoot straight and hitting the ground because of that. I may walk slow, but not as slow as my enemies when I'm done. <laughs> there we go, it's the last demolisher that we needed to kill. But yeah, I can clearly see how this can ruin your day as a player. 
I, I seriously think Long Tom can just ruin your day as a player. Like, even one on an enemy mech is so much danger, Will Robinson, that you uh, unfortunately cannot avoid. I will say one thing though, like, if you run a mech like that, A, you're running super hot, and B, you can't really fight against, like, big groups of enemies very well. Against single mechs at long distances? Hell yeah. And the sound mod is currently also not on, that's why the explosions are a little bit more muted. Kinda missed it out without poom. <laughs> um, well, now we're walking over the countryside. Enjoying the beautiful landscape. I'm detecting an unidentified mess yeah. in the area. Moving in to investigate. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here, come to us, investigate. Sounds like a good idea to die. Holy fucking hell, are you seeing this, guys? Uh oh. We got Igor's incoming. I need the airwatch. I need it now. Watch there are no targets down in the ground. Um, maybe I should just use something fast, like the awesome, to just grab the item and then move in back with my annihilator. That could work. That's probably the best way of doing this. That way I gain 20 kph. Which doesn't sound like much, but you know. Every little bit of speed helps. So, so far yet another mech lab, it just adds a lot of options. It makes tinkering with mechs a lot more fun. Uh, in my opinion, they should have shipped Mech Warrior 5, like yet another mech lab, with all the customization options. I understand why they tried to not do it, because they wanted to make like mechs like, more diverse, and some models clearly better than others. But, um... Maybe with a tinkering and upgrade system that could have worked better, I don't know. But this definitely gives you as give you gives you the freedom as the player that you have enjoyed, for example, in MechWay of Warmerx. New target, flee. What? Clears the area. That mech is about to go critical. Oh. Tango. Eliminated. I just realized something. Maybe I should give the Annihilator the hold fire command. Just in case. Took one down. I like the options it's adding. Like my only gripe with yet another mech lab right now is just because of the of the inner sphere weapons mod. Like the clan weapons seem to be seem to be fine. It's the inner sphere AOE weapons that are a little bit of a culprit right now. Okay, here we go. That's our thing. Drop it. That has to be what we're after. Bringing it aboard the leopard. By the way, that's funny. If you give your slot 2 AI the command to hold fire, the slot, the hold fire command will remain, if you see that up top, for that slot 2 AI. So currently, the battle master in slot 2 has hold fire. If I switch to mech, battle master still on holds fire. Going back to this, battle master, now is the awesome on hold fire. You switch through and it just switches the hold fire. Now the awesome is on hold fire. Okay. Um. Ceasing fire. Uh, weapons free. No, you're not weapons free. Weapons hold. Everybody weapons hold also does not work, because one guy's on weapons free, other other guys weapons, weapons hold. Free. <laughs> Guns active. 
Okay, here we go. Finally. I was pressing the wrong buttons. I'm sorry. I was not ordering all of them. But it's weird that it retained the weapon's hold order for that pilot. That's kind of a little bit weird. I should retain it for the mech and not for the pilot. Because um, the mech doesn't get switched, or the player the, the player switches between mechs, right? So it doesn't... It should not trigger for the pilot, it should trigger for the mech. Alright. Let's go get a two more objective kills. Hopefully find a big mech that we can shoot. Yeah, the AI definitely shot by Long Tom. <laughs> but Long Tom is probably best enjoyed in like groups of one, plus a lot of like lasers or whatnot. Or some Dakar. Like one Long Tom and uh, two UX5s or something like that could work. That's a mech. It's an Urbi. Ah, I hit a little bit low. Oh, there's a rifle, man. I'm scared that the Atlas will hit the eat the shot for the rifleman. Good work, Commander. That's one less target. I missed. No, oh, maybe not so much. Oh, that Irby. That Irby's getting it. Oh, this guy has a thumper! This guy has thumpers! Enemy mech eliminated. <laughs> it hit him in the arm and then pulled him on the arm and <laughs> pulled him over. The yeah, Atlas just took a couple of hits. Also, a lot of damage to the back. I'm, I'm thinking he got hit by thumper artillery. Again. Um, not a fan of AoE weapons. This does not look good. This guy had two thumpers. I have to check the weight on those weapons. Because if he could have two thumpers, maybe I can have four thumpers on the NI later. Um. I'm not sure. The problem with adding a lot of cool weapons to the game is always at which point do you completely throw the, uh, like the well, weapon balance out the window. And I think like with the long toms and long tom artillery that's kind of the point where, you, where the weapon balance just goes bye bye. Can you please not block my shot here? It's a good thing we don't have friendly fire, huh? Mm. Forming on the commander. Let's go. There's a chopper somewhere. Ah, right in front of us. Oof. That almost was a hit. Long term to destroy buildings. All right, confirmed. What? What an interesting, what an interesting um, solution or idea. Artillery actually works well in destroying buildings. Who would have thought? <laughs> but even if the double heat sinks, like the cooling down, as I said, is going to be a challenge. It's going to take a while. Cool down enough so we can alpha strike a lot of mech. Oh, there we go. Quick draw. That's one alpha strike. Look at the health on the quick draw. He's almost dead. And ripped apart. That's uh, kind of disgusting. Hello, Urbi. One shot. Gonna hit behind him on purpose, and he's dead. So actually hitting behind targets on purpose gets them killed faster. 
because then the AoE hits more on the back and just strips apart the mechs. And the light mech cannot survive a hit 20 damage to the back or 30 damage to the back. What am I even trying to kill here? Such mean much value. <laughs> Don't even have to hit it, just have to hit near it and it goes rip. There should be a turret control tower here somewhere. Probably on top of this building or something, I don't know. Or is it just the building that we have to destroy even more? Ah no, here it is. Rip. Hostile transport ship coming in. I was about to say, if Mech Warrior 5 is Mech Warrior 5, we're gonna get a dropship on top of our heads now. So, let's find a target and shoot it. Alpha Strike. Look at the damage to his back. Now we're gonna shoot behind him. And almost annihilate him with that shot. With the sniper artillery, he would have been dead, because sniper artillery does 10 more damage to the back. Let's check the health on him. I just shot behind him. Okay, that did, apparently did not register. Interesting. Need to cool down a little bit more. You see that? How much damage he took to the back, just from that near miss. <laughs> uh, so, it feels, it feels stupid in the hands of a player. But, um, let me tell you what feels even more stupid, if that thing is in the hands of the AI. Because um, you could literally have like a spawn where there is two Atlas, both with Long Tom, and they will destroy your lands. Because the weapon systems themselves don't change the behavior of the game of sending lands after lands after lands after lands of enemies against you. And if you have a weapon system like this, it's problematic. It self balances a little bit through the heat, of course. That's for sure. Heat and, and, and weight, absolutely, yes. Um, but if it's on the AI, it's just ridiculously powerful. So yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Does long term make sense in its current f uh, form? I don't know. Because I, I feel like there's, there's so much potential for Total frustration here, where your mechs just get destroyed out of nowhere by an AI, Atlas or whatnot, shooting a long term out of nowhere. There is no way to deactivate the long term uh, or, the, or the sniper artillery right now. I got a double heat sink on the loot. Um, anything good here that we can grab? Nope, the engine's toast. So long term is not good for trying to salvage. This one has a thumper artillery, by the way, but we can probably just get the thumper artillery, right? Nope, bumper ammo. Why can't we get the weapon out of the mech? Maybe because it's it's a it's a DLC. I don't know DLC. Maybe it's because it's a weapon that only exists in the mod. And that's why it doesn't show up in the list here. All right, let's check the thumper artillery. Weapon mech R sixty three X. I've got 19 more salvage points. I could get an Urbi for that. A destroyed Urbi is 500k. <laughs> I'm gonna take that medium laser. And those two short burst lasers and the thumper ammo. Anything good here? Nope. So we have 14 remaining. Yeah, the Shadowhawk. Alright. Not bad. It, does, it doesn't count the damage from the artillery, by the way. That's why we have 300, it's just the lasers. 
All right, let's check the thumper artillery. I want to see that thing. Uh, thumper, he's here. Ten tons, five damage. That's not that much. Thirteen rounds per minute, though. And also has AOE damage in a 22 meter radius. That, that is the problem. That AOE damage. Even if it's just 5, it's gonna add up very quickly. Because it has 10 tons, right? You can run 4 of these. They're quite hot though. Like 4 of these is, a, is as much heat as a long term. Basically a long term is 4 thumpers. In a 20 ton package. As opposed to 40 tons. So long term is better than thumper. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. I'll let you guys decide. We get our job reward here for the demolishers. Get another double hit sink. Get a tier 5 EPC. We will not give this to the AI. I'm really looking forward to getting top speed boosted. That's gonna be nice. And the Cantina quests just take a long while. I think there should be a mod that makes it a little bit faster to, to progress through these, through these things. Because I feel like you will have full mechs. You will have a full assault um, mech setup with 12 assault mechs before you have halfway through the uh, Cantina screen. So yeah, we checked out the uh, Long Tom. We found that it's utterly ridiculous and we checked out the uh, Thumper. So um, those are all part of the yet another weapons, uh, yet another mech lab weapons package. Not clan weapons, but inner sphere weapons package. And um, the problem is you cannot deactivate one part of the mod. You would have to deactivate the full mod or nothing. The clan weapons pack doesn't seem to have that problem, but the inner sphere weapons pack seems to have that problem. So um, let me know what your experiences are with this. Um, Maybe, maybe it's just a rare occurrence and it's just like that rare trap card where, it's go, where you go like, oh shit, and you get destroyed. Or maybe it is a constant nuisance. What are your experiences? Let me know in the comments on YouTube. I'll see you then.